Some decisions in video games often test a player's morals and beliefs, be it through luring them in with what looks to be an easy choice that turns out to be so much more, or alternatively a dilemma that is purposefully designed to be impossible to choose between. Some choices are between good and evil, and some are between bad and worse. Spoiler warnings are in full effect because I'm CypherWhatCulture.com and these are 10 video game quests that made you question your humanity. Number 10. Spin the Bottle Until Dawn until Dawn is a game that comes jam-packed full of morally grey decisions designed to test a player's grit. The fact that every chapter comes with full-blown psychiatric evaluations based on the choices a player has made should speak volumes. But out of all the actions players undertake during their weekend at Blackwood Mountain, arguably none left an impact quite like the spin-the-bottle-styled game Chris and Ashley are forced to play. Having already been forced to choose between sticking a saw blade into Josh or Ashley, players will lead Chris and the latter of these two into a room where they are ambushed and strapped into two chairs. When they wake, Chris is told by the psycho that he either has to shoot Ashley or himself. What makes this such a gut-wrencher is how the chemistry between these two had just begun to blossom, and how the pair finally give in to their feelings as they're faced with what they believe to be their final moments. Ultimately, the game is shown to be a hoax organised by Josh, but the lasting effects of such a high-stakes prank linger with the characters for the remainder of the story, and for players much longer than that. Number 9. The Golden Butterfly, L.A. Noir. L.A. Noir Noir might be a game known for its mean-worthy material these days, however a quest like The Golden Butterfly is a potent reminder that Rockstar still knew how to nail a gut-punching choice. The Golden Butterfly is a homicide case that kicks off, as many a case in this game does, with Cole and Rusty being presented with the mangled body of a woman named Deirdre Moller. Collecting clues and whittling down the potential suspects will leave players with the choice between two possible culprits, the woman's husband Hugo or a detestable paedophile named Eli Rooney. Heavily influenced by the real-life murder of Dorothy Monk Montgomery in 1947, it's a heavy-hitting and emotional case made even more so when interviewing the Moller's daughter Michelle. Morally, players will want to throw the book at the paedophile and it is certainly the outcome the chief pushes throughout the case. However, the further they go along and the more they uncover, it will look more and more likely that Rooney is actually innocent and Hugo Moller is the guilty party. Lock up Rooney to ensure her daughter has one of her parents at home or actually deliver justice as an honest investigator. The choice is yours. Number 8. Prairie Oyster Harvest – Far Cry 5 Sometimes gamers find themselves going through the ringer with a questline before reaching their limit with a what am I actually doing realisation. At least that's what we got from Prairie Oyster Harvest in Far Cry 5. In the quest, players must assist Casey Fixum as they, in an effort to improve morale around the local area, host the annual Testy Festy Festival. After delivering the equipment for the festivities, players have to trek out, let a herd of cows out of their pen, kill bulls as they are mating, and harvest three different types of testicles for Casey to use later. All of this whilst Marvin Gaye's sexual healing plays around you. Hmm, lovely. Some players might enjoy some of the sick humour Ubisoft undoubtedly intended to throw in, but really this is a moment that makes anyone playing feel a little queasy at best, and downright slightly perverse at worst. Actually, based on a real-life tradition hosted in the United States, this quest might not have the morally obtuse dimensions of others on this list, but it's still good for making you question your life choices. Number 7. Blood Fever – Assassin's Creed Odyssey 2018's Assassin's Creed Odyssey marked the first time Ubisoft began experimenting with role-playing elements in the series, with players being given so many more choices that would have a profound impact on the game. Out of all of these, few quite hit home as hard as the Blood Fever. The quest begins when players take Cassandra to the village of Kazos. Finding the location in a series of burned-out ruins, players will be presented with the sight of a family being guarded by a priest and a number of soldiers. When spoken to, the priest will explain that Kazos has been consumed by a plague and that killing those that have been infected is the only way of saving the remaining residents. Players will then have a choice of either allowing the priest to go ahead and kill the family or saving them from their fate. The natural response for most players would be to save the family, especially the young child, but doing so will result in players later discovering that the island has been overrun entirely, turning the whole place into a graveyard. It's a lesson of one small heinous act being a justification of the greater good, but undoubtedly a painful one at that. Number 6. Hard Luck Blues – Fallout New Vegas Fallout has a slew of gut-wrenching decisions across the series, however it seems prudent to focus on the moral ambiguity of Vault 34 in 2010's New Vegas. In the side quest Hard Luck Blues, players are told that the vault has begun to leak radiation, contaminating a number of NRC space cropper farms in the region, but arriving there will reveal a small number of survivors living in the vault, trapped inside the unreachable underwater portion of the structure. This raises a moral dilemma for players to 
you wrestle with. Do they deactivate the reactors and save the farms, but condemn the survivors to a long drawn out death, or reroute the controls to the vault, freeing the survivors but ruining the farms and triggering a famine in the area? It's a decision that is certain to make players feel guilty about whichever option they pick, and it seems as if even Bethesda has acknowledged there's no right option. Whatever decision players ultimately go with, there will be no positive or negative impacts on their karma, showcasing just how impossible a decision this is. Number 5. A Quiet Time – Red Dead Redemption 2 Red Dead Redemption is a series that pushes a player's morals and values to the max with a slew of choices that are used to determine their honour level. But one decision sticks out amongst all others when it comes to measuring a player's true character, and that decision is a quiet time. The quest sees Arthur taking Lenny out for a drink in Smithfield Saloon. What ensues is an infamously hilarious series of drunken escapades as players attempt to find Lenny around the bar. But all the line slurring and line dancing is rounded off with some potentially sinister finales depending on the choices you make concerning the pair and and a patron named Jeb. The trio will find themselves outside the bar in the morning with you offered the choice of doing nothing or trying to drown Jeb until unconscious in a trough. While some sequences will simply see Arthur waking up feeling worse for wear, those who choose to push the drowning to the limit will find themselves waking up inside of a jail cell for attempted murder with their relationship with Lenny in tatters. Number 4. The Shark – Heavy Rain Heavy Rain was a game changer when it came to painful decisions and the profound impact they can have. Protagonist Ethan Mars is mentally tortured by the origami killer as a way of proving just how much love he has for his son. But whilst most of the trials Ethan is subjected to involve inflicting pain onto himself, the fourth origami piece, the shark, is the only one that has players inflicting it on someone else. Ethan is given a gun and an address to where a drug dealer is living. They're told by the origami killer that they need to kill the man to gain more letters for the location their son is being held captive in. In. After a brief run around the man's apartment, players will find themselves faced with the prospect of killing the drug dealer in cold blood. And then he pulls out a photo of his two daughters in their colourfully decorated bedroom and a difficult decision becomes a downright impossible one. Killing the man will put Ethan one step closer to saving his own son and bringing the origami killer's reign to an end, but when it comes to the expense of two small girls losing their father, players are left seriously wondering if it's too high a price to pay. Number 3. Mathala, The Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion with so many Daedric princes who thrive off of deceit, betrayal and violence, there are a lot of decisions in the Elder Scrolls universe that have the capacity to make players feel like monsters. One particular quest that was especially shocking came in the Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion, where players encounter the Daedric Prince Mephala, the god of murder, lies and deception. After discovering her shrine and placing an offering of Nightshade, Mephala would instruct players to travel to the small village of Bleaker's Way and kill the heads of two prominent families there. Players are then instructed to plant false evidence in Implementing the other family as being responsible for the deaths. Opening a dialogue with either of the families will then trigger an all-out brawl to the death across the entire village, one that will only end when one of them is completely wiped out. This is one of the few quests in Oblivion that requires you to murder someone completely innocent for no reason other than the hell of subscribing to Mafala's love for plotting. It's a cruel quest, nestled in what is considered the cheery entry to the franchise that will leave most players standing over the remnants of their destruction, wondering what is actually wrong with them. Number 2. By the Book – Grand Theft Auto 5 Rockstar has never shied away from controversy when it comes to Grand Theft Auto, but By the Book in the fifth entry really took this infamous reputation to a whole new level. The quest is given by FIB agents Steve Haynes to Trevor and Michael. Players are tasked with killing a man named Tahir Yavan, but to learn more about his identity they are forced to torture a man named Ferdinand Karamov in a small warehouse. As Trevor, players will be presented with an assortment of items that they must use to torture Karamov. The methods can range from a wrench with players choosing where they are going to hit him, waterboarding, cigarette burns, electric shocks from a car battery, and pliers that will remove the man's teeth which will cause him to increasingly slur. It's a really difficult sequence to play through and the fact that players are tasked with choosing what methods and what items they use to torture a largely innocent man is sure to leave them with a few moral quandaries. Number 1. Possession – The Witcher 3 Possession is one of those quests that comes along every now and again that is designed to fool both the characters in the game as well as the players in control. Faced with having to deal with a rare and dangerous creature known as a Heim that latches onto a person's guilt, Geralt reveals the only way of curing the Jarl's supposed curse is either by defeating the creature in its own domain or trick it in hopes it moves on to another host. Working with Ceres and Crete, she begs players to trust her with tricking the creature. She will leave players in a room and soon re-emerge with the Jarl's son, handing him to players and telling them to put him in the oven that's 
it's been switched on. Players then choose whether to believe Ceres and put the baby in the oven or follow the more instinctly humane reaction to the command and hand him over to the Yarv's men. Placing the baby in a furnace will leave Geralt genuinely despairing at their decision, fully believing that they have just incinerated an innocent life. And even though the baby is later revealed to be absolutely fine and the reaction from Geralt was what was needed to encourage the Heim to leave the Jarl, it's still a sobering moment and one that leaves players wondering just how far they'll go with decision making in the moment. And that's the list. Let us know what you thought of this video down in the comments below. Which of these quests morally shook you the most? And of course, let us know of any others that we missed. Make sure you like this video, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and go to whatculture.com for more content every day. I've been Cypher Whatculture, and have a good week.